if you were to ask me which is my favorite destination that I traveled to in my over 4,000 kilometer road trip, it would hands down be Gloucester Bay, which <laughs> I just, I stumbled upon pure by accident. I'd spent a couple nights in Airlie Beach and I didn't really enjoy it too much. It was just too many people, too crowded, very tourist orientated, and I wanted somewhere a little bit more chill. So I'd seen some pictures of Hideaway Bay, which looked really lovely. So I decided to go there instead. And if you keep on driving a little bit further around the headland, there's a little area called Gloucester Bay, which is where I'm at right now. And 10 out of 10 recommend. It is just absolutely stunning. So today's camping, we're actually camping at a resort because the local campground has shut for the week don't know why like it's just shut and so campers don't really have anywhere to camp so the resort's been nice enough to offer up like a little bit of like bushland that they have where people can camp for free just as long as you know you buy some drinks or you buy some food or whatnot so yeah currently just chilling at the resort now watching the sunset I'll um, put a little time lapse as you can see it's a little bit sunny so it's a bit hard to see but um yeah I tried going for a snorkel in the water but although it's blue it was like very cloudy so I'm gonna try again in the morning hopefully there's a few rocky bits um, I put the drone up seen some seen a big fish swimming past and um, yeah hopefully see some fish tomorrow now that I've bloody got my GoPro back well not back but I bought a new one but yeah we'll see how tonight goes it will be sort of my first take out of the trip you know like first pub meal so that'll be good Well, the plan was to only stay here maybe overnight for one night, but that burger that I had last night was pretty darn good, so I reckon I'm gonna stay another night. And why not? When this is where you can stay and relax, so. Yes, gonna enjoy myself here for another day and maybe head to Bowen itself. And yeah, hopefully go for a snorkel. Okay, so I ended up lying. I definitely stayed more than a day. The initial plan was definitely to only spend one or two nights here, but I ended up staying close to a week because where else are you going to be able to camp pretty much right on the beach for free? Amazing crystal clear water. Just, I, I can't put words together to say how much I enjoyed this place. I so wish that I had brought my inflatable stand-up paddleboard or something like that because this would have just been amazing. There's a few little islands around the place that you'd be able to paddle to. I was a little bit disappointed that the resort didn't have any, you know, kayaks or paddle boards to borrow because look at how beautiful that is. You'd be able to easily paddle over there. Could probably swim if I wanted to but I'm a little bit too lazy for that. But yeah, this place, it looked like a movie. It was just absolutely stunning. This little island I so badly wanted to get to. I wish that I had a boat or, you know, I had have met someone with a boat that would have taken me over to the island because it would have been really nice snorkeling there, I think. I was really hoping to see a turtle or a shark or something like that with the drone up. But unfortunately, I didn't really see anything. The only fish that I seen um, were these fish, which I asked the locals and they called them stripies. So you, you've already seen them a few times in this video. They're quite big and they got a yellow tail and apparently they have stripes on them. Obviously my drone can't pick that up from the air. But um, yeah, I tried going spear fishing for them. Didn't really have any luck, got close a few times. I swear to God, I nicked one of them once. After spending that couple of days at Gloucester Bay, I decided to go to Dingo Beach, which is just around the corner, and I stumbled upon this. A 79 series that was bogged, they tried snatching off the winch strap, and that ended up snapping and flinging back, and so lucky that it flung backwards into underneath one of the cars and not through a windshield or anything like that. So please just be very careful when it comes to 
snatching and recovery. I did go over there and offer my help beforehand and they denied it because they were also snatching off of a tow bar while I had a recovery hitch. But yes, they didn't really want my help. So I went and sat back down and I was able to film that because I knew something was going to go wrong. After that, they eventually took my help and um, I hooked my car up to the Navara to create a double anchor while they winched them out. I'd watched the Navara a couple of times trying to winch the 79 out but because of the suction and the weight of the 79 it was slowly dragging the navara in so this is when you sort of need a double anchor because my car was able to stop the navara from being pulled into the water so i don't think snatch strapping would have ever got them out they needed a winch and they were out in about a minute or two so i'd watched them struggle for over 10 15 minutes or trying all these different ways to snatch you out. And yeah, it ended up just being needing a bit of a two car pull. Honestly, don't know how we ended up in this angle going down the boat ramp, because you can see where the boat ramp is right now. I don't know how the car ended up in that location, but yes, uh, not every day that you get to say that your Pajero helped pull out a 79 series. So I ended up exploring some four wheel drive tracks at Dingo Beach and as you can see here I ended up getting a little bit of a wheel lift which stopped me from going any further. I probably could have sent it a little bit harder and maybe have just enough momentum to go over. I just don't have a front locker. I've bought a front locker, I just haven't installed it in my car but if I had that, that would have made the situation super easy and I wouldn't have needed a winch but you know I didn't want to put a strain on my car or anything like that so the winch was a nice safe option to make sure that I got out without breaking or damaging my car.
I wasn't quite making it through that as you can see I got some pretty decent wheel lifts so um yeah about 20 minutes ago I was pulling out of 79 down from the boat ramp and then um had to pull myself out these max trucks were useless though they didn't really do anything in this situation the winch definitely helped me out but I don't know can you see like cameras never do it justice but that is some pretty ugh, some pretty gnarly dints there and as we all know the Pajero has the flex of a shopping trolley they ain't got nothing but um yeah that winch is coming handy so that's good hey, I was a little bit stressed there for a second um I think I'm gonna go for a swim though afterwards look at that I don't know if you guys can see all the blue but this is a great spot I was gonna continue on to Bowen but um I think I might just spend another day at Cape Gloucester. All right. because I was out by myself but um I knew when I was going down that that I was probably going to struggle to go back up but there was just nowhere for me to turn around and the bits that had already been out were a little bit too like rutted out for me to reverse up and you know like I don't have anyone guiding me but I was confident enough in going down for the fact that I have a winch and that I can use my winch to get out um but yeah how funny is that you know like 20 minutes ago I was helping pull somebody else out but um, I'd hate to have to walk to town and ask for somebody's help to come and I don't know anyone in this area, but um, you know, we like a good recovery every now and again. I don't know if I've ever done like a proper recovery on my channel, like of me recovering myself. So um, that was fun. But uh, yeah, the plan was to go to Bowen today because uh, my trip's sort of being cut short. I've been offered a job at BCF back home in Kalounja and the start date is in less than a week so I doubt that I'm oh, like I'm not gonna make it to Cairns and come back you know by the week's done you know I could if I wanted to rush it but you know I want to take my time and just you know zigzag up and down the coast and see what I can do so um yeah I think Cape Gloucester is gonna be sort of the furthest north that I'm gonna go I was talking to a local here I'm currently at Dingo Beach this is Dingo Beach pool driving that I'm doing and he said like oh if it's a little bit overcast and windy today in Dingo Beach you know Bowen's probably twice as worse so um, I probably spend oh, here's another bit of stuff that I didn't see <laughs> um, yeah so I'll probably end up just spending the night at Cape Gloucester again have a swim in the ocean there because it's beautiful do a little bit of snorkeling relax at the resort because how good of a deal is that you know free camping at the resort just as long as you buy meals and those meals that I've been having I got two of the pork belly burgers in a row because they're that good and they're fish and chips like their chips are just so good um, I definitely recommend going there this is only like a one-time thing that they're offering free camping so don't go there hoping that you can get free camp because it's just the caravan park um, down the road shut for just this week but um yeah it was definitely the best deal to stumble upon and that's why talking to the locals sometimes works in your benefit but anyway so gonna be heading back down to Kalandra to work a job at BCF and um just over the Christmas period and then I'm guessing you know because it's like a Christmas casual that you know if I don't get a full-time job I'm probably gonna hit the road and keep on traveling again so you know it was sort of like a bittersweet thing is like yeah I wanted to get a job but you know like if I didn't get a job I'll be able to continue you know out four-wheel driving and all this I don't know if I'm gonna make it up this bit let me see there's actually a shortcut this way so I don't have to go up that because I don't want to get bogged right out the front of someone's house oh. actually I might be able to go this way yeah that looks like there's plenty of I came in to this four-wheel driving thing on the hardest track possible 
And then there's just like a little bump if you want to go around it. What the hell? So after a busy day, I decided to head back to Cape Glasslester and just go for a walk along the beach where I made a little crab friend. And then I also seen a turtle nest where I think either the night before or two days before, turtle looks like it's come up and laid its eggs on the beach there, which was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I obviously can't stick around for a month to wait for the eggs to hatch, but I think that's pretty cool. So if you're in the area, keep an eye out because you might be able to see some turtles, especially nesting at night.